it is fucking cold. Whoa, yo. It is the 1st of November and even though it's really sunny outside, it is really, really cold. I've got like uh, two jumpers, t-shirt, thick tights, thick socks, trousers. It's very cold today. Not really doing anything interesting today. I am going to take these bits off so the metal there, possibly make some things for the L plates and the tail light. And then I'm also making a little bracket for my headlight as well, like a little little, little prototype, see how it works out. So we'll put this one to the side and do this later. size for L plates so when I go to the MOT I need to buy a um, a license plate that is of the legal size requirements that's what I won't pass the MOT I don't think it's the actual plate itself it's the numbers but yeah so I'm just going to figure out how big that is Is that right? Well, I'm going with anywhere will do because it's not really too squished for space. So I'm going for 135 centimeters across here. Um, I haven't really thought about how thick I want it. Uh, probably about that big doesn't really matter. And then I'll make a small one to go at the top of the sissy bar for the Chaz. These two screws at the back here, so that's how that can be attached.
So last night, as it started to get late, I went on to start drilling my little brackets. Finding it very difficult to, when uh, Dad got home, he then explained to me that this was stainless steel and that was why I was struggling to get through it. I had no idea that stainless steel and mild steel and different steels would have different durabilities. So that's how far I got. He came home, tried to give it a go, but didn't have any luck either. We just don't have the right drill bits. Like, we haven't got, like, strong enough drill bits. So I'm going to have to do these all over again, this time in a different kind of steel. <laughs> Which is all of them. All of them were done from the same cut of metal, so... These are the two brackets I made for the headlamp. And those are the two I made for the license plate and the tail light. So let's do that again. These are my little brackets. Cute. But then useless. Nice. Okay. Can you engrave them? Huh? Can you engrave them? Yeah. I get a Dremel out. cut out the pieces I need and drilled the holes that I need. I'm going to do a little bit of welding practice for this tail light bracket. Um, I'm not very good at welding, as we all know. As these two are going to be the most visible welds for the bike, I kind of want to do a little bit more practicing because my welds are not good. In the past year and a bit, maybe almost, yeah, the past year and a half, Obviously, been learning how to fab and weld and do all these kind of things I've never done before. I think I've learned quite a lot, but one thing I do want to get lessons for is welding. Um, when I can afford to, I'll probably I'll probably join a welding course just because I think that's something that I need an actual person to teach me to do properly, rather than me trying to work out with a little bit of advice from my dad how to do. <clears throat> There's a lot of things I want to take classes for, but you know, learning a new skill, I guess, I'm not, I wouldn't say a new skill because I'm not skilled at it, but like learning a new 
hobby interest has been really fun. I'm not sure how much of it I will keep on doing after the bike. Maybe little bits and bobs here and there like crafts and things. Like just one-off things rather than an actual hobby I do every day type thing like I've been doing with this project. Also, I don't have the tools to be doing this myself. These are all my dad's tools and I won't always be here in this garage. So it depends what I will continue to do going forward in life. <laughs> but it's been fun. I've really enjoyed it and it's been interesting to see what other, how other people feel about it. Does that make sense? Like having other girls come up to me and be like, this is really cool that you're doing this. I'm like, not really just doing dumb stuff. And then I'm having, you know, other people come up to me saying that they've wanted to start building a bike since seeing what I've been doing, or at least riding a bike. That's been quite cool. And surprising how me just doing my own things kind of influenced other people to be interested in something that I'm interested in. So let's go get the welder because at the minute it's outside in the camper van because that's where my mum and dad have been welding but I kind of want to do it here on a nice flat surface. We'll drag it all in. Today, really, just got these two plates done. They'll be going kind of like there and there ish. I made two holes for those two screws and for the wiring to come through. As you can see, those two screws kind of go in there, and then the wire will go through the middle hole. These two brackets either side. And they'll fit here in front of the spring of forks and the grills on there too and this is in my card without the metal parts keeping it together it's come a bit looser now which is good that means i can screw it all in properly and today was a bit of a eh video there's nothing really happening just kind of the little bits and bobs i can do with the time i've got for the headlight, the next thing I need to do is, so where the attachment to the forks is quite a large hole, I'm going to add some bushings inside and then I'll just be finding the correct bolt and nut that will fit there and that will be all done. This one's pretty self-explanatory. That just needs to be screwed in. I'm probably going to wrap these up in black tape and tuck it alongside the sissy bar. After that, I'm not sure. I'm probably going to have Monty come down again um, next week, maybe. We'll do some bits and bobs with him. If we can both find a day where we're not working. Yeah, Monty is going to be down for the Q&A video I'm going to be doing. At some point, I assume that's going to be the next video I do is the Q&A. So we're just going to be kind of faffing about in here and answering your questions. Mainly me. Monty can answer some of them too, I guess. But uh, if you do have any questions for that, just pop them in the comments and then I'll see them later and I'll ask them next video. I'll answer them next video. I've already got quite a few questions from Instagram from the last post I put up. I think I'll end this video here on kind of me doing some practice welds. So take it easy guys and I will see you soon.